The sheep are everywhere. Let's try and them get back into their pen. Hi everyone, my name is Tamsin Nell from Sense Education. Join me on this lesson all about describing numbers. Help us to get all the sheep back into their pen. The sheepdog is going to be helping us to chase each sheep one by one back into the pen as you help us to answer some questions. Number one. What is one more than 29? And if you are struggling a bit, here is a number line to help you. You can identify where 29 is and then think, what is one more? It is 30. Well done. Oh, one sheep is into the pen. What is one less than 25? One less than 25, we're taking away. 24, good job. Run, sheep, run. Let's go to number three. How many sheep are on each side? Which one is more or fewer? How much more is there? So we could be counting these in ones, but we can see that they are nicely lined up over here. So we could count in twos, or you could count how many are here at the top and just double it. So there are a few ways to do this, but let's count in twos today and we can see how many are on each side. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. There are 12 sheep in this block. How many are in this block? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. There are 14 in this one. Which one is more or fewer? Well, 14 is definitely more and 12 is fewer. How much more is there? So we want to know the difference between 12 and 14. So there are two ways to do this. Either you can count from 12 to 14 and see how many you get, or you could say 14 minus 12 and figure it out that way. So today we're going to count on and we're going to go 13, 14. They are two more. Okay, there's fewer, more, and there are two more sheep. Go sheep, go! <laughs> what is before 20? What is before 20? Number 19, high five, excellent! Go to number five. How many pigs are in each side? Which one is more or fewer? So it's we are going to have a look at how we can count this. It looks like there are five at the top and you know they are nice and lined up for us. So that means that we can count in fives. So you see there's one, two, three, four, five, and you can see they are nicely lined up. So let's count in fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. There are 20 pigs on this side. Let's see how many on this side. There are also five at the top, so we can count in fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. There are 20 on this side and 20 on that side. So what does that mean? I know you have it. They are equal. They are exactly the same. They are equal. Now number five is going to go back in its pen. 19 is between mm and mm. What are the two numbers on each side of 19? You can use the number line if you do not know. Or you're going to count backwards and then you're going to count forwards again. So first one is 18 and 20. So it goes 18 
1920. Number six. <laughs> Woohoo! We are almost there. How many horses are on each side? Which one is more fewer and how much more is there? So we're going to have a look. Now, you see that they are not equally aligned here. So we can see that these are equally aligned and there are five here, plus another five, 10. And now you can either see how many they are and add it on, or you just count on. So we go to five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 40. They are 14 horses. And here you can see they are nicely lined up for us. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Okay, now if you do not know how to count in sixes, that's okay. You will find an easier way to do it. You can also count in twos. You can add these two together. There's those two together and these two together. Or maybe you can count in threes. You can count three down this way. Okay, so today I think let's try count in threes. You count with what you are comfortable with. So, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. Good. There are 18 horses. Which one is more or fewer? Well, 18 is more and 14 is fewer. And how much more is there? So again, you can either minus 18, minus 14, or you can count on from 14 till, till you get to number 18. So let's count on and you do what you are comfortable with. And we're gonna go 15, because that's the next number after 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I have four fingers up. So that means that there are four more on this side. Good job, well done. And let's take the sheep number seven back into the pen. What is two less than 23? So now you're going to make two hops backwards. Okay, so you go, go on to number 23 and you jump one, two. And the answer is 21. So if you are here, 23, you go one, two. And you land on number 21. The sheepdog is doing such a good job. 24 is between mm and mm. What are the two numbers on each side of 24? I know you have the answer. Well done. Number 23 and number 25. Good. Next sheep goes. What is two more than 23? So now you're going to count forwards and you're two hops forwards. So we have 23, 24, 25. Good, excellent. Tell me, how many sheep do we have? We need to get them all into the pen. We have two sheep left. How many dogs are, in, are on each side? Which one is more or fewer? Now we can have a look again and see. At the top there is one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can count in sixes if you know how to count in sixes. Or if you can go down here, you can count in threes. Or you can count in twos. You can pair those two together, those two together, and those two together, and you keep going. So we counted in threes last time. So I'm going to be counting in sixes. If you do not know how to count in sixes, that's fine. Just pause this video and continue counting the way you count or what is best for you. So six, 12, 
18. There are 80 sheepdogs. And on this side, there are also six at the top. So we're going to go six, 12, 18. Nice. There are 18 on the one side and 18 on the other side. So what does that mean? You got it. It means that it is equal. It is exactly the same on both sides. It is, one is not more or fewer. They're exactly the same. <coughs> now we have one more sheep to get back in the pen. What is after 18? What is after 18? So the next number. 19, high five, good job. And oh, sheep. <laughs> the sheep are back in its pen and they are nice and safe for the night. They can sleep there. Well done for helping them get back. Now, you can pause this video, get a piece of paper, get a pencil or a pen or a crayon, and you can show me you're working out and how you're going to help me to solve this problem. I'm going to read the problem for you, and then you pause the video, and you will see the answer afterwards. There were 24 sheep in the pen. If 11 of them ran away, how many sheep are left? I'm going to read it again for you. There were 24 sheep in the pen. If 11 of them ran away, how many sheep are left? It's going to take them away. They're running away, all 11. And there are 13 sheep left. Next one. Donnie had 27 horses on his farm. He gave 15 horses to his brother on the farm next door. How many horses does he have left on his farm? I'm going to read it again. Donnie had 27 horses on his farm. Imagine all these horses, 27 of them. He gave 15 horses to his brother on the farm next door. How many horses does he have left on his farm? So we're going to take the horses away, all 15 of them. And the answer is 12. There are 12 horses left on his farm. There were eight puddles of mud. Each puddle has two pigs in it. How many pigs are there all together? So just imagine there's a pile of there's some mud and there are two pigs in this. There is another pile of mud and there's two pigs in it. And there are eight of these. So draw it on your page. Show me how you're working out. You do not need to be an artist. You can draw a little picture, maybe even do little circles. Or you can write the number in it. However you want to show it out is show you working out is perfectly fine. So there's the other two and there are eight puddles. There's the eight puddles and each one has two pigs. How many pigs are there all together? There are 16 pigs. Good job. There were eight dogs on our farm. If there are five dogs on the farm next door, how many dogs are there all together? So there's the six dogs. I'm going to read it again. There were six dogs on our farm. If there are five dogs on the farm next door, how many dogs are there all together? Let's add the other dogs. There's the five other dogs on the farm next door. And all together, there are 11 dogs. Brilliant. Which one is more? 75 or 68? 75, excellent. 
Which one is more, 28 or 42? 42. You have to be nice and fast with this one. Which one is more, 66 or 61? 66. Sure, you're so good at this. Which one is more, 69 or 62? 69, good. Which one is more, 47 or 55? 47 or 55? 55, excellent. Which one is more, 31 or 37? It is 37. Even though it has both has 30 in it, one and seven, Seven is definitely more than one. Which one is more? 47 or 44? Hmm. What happens if we click on 44? Oh, no. The answer is 47. Now we are answering which one is fewer? 67? Or 72? So this is different to our first one. The answer is 67. Which one is fewer? 45 or 43? 43. Which one is fewer? 40 or 42? Ah, 40. Excellent. 32 or 34? Now which one's fewer? 32. Which one is fewer? 73 or 71? 73 or 71? 71. Which one is fewer? 75 or 72? 72, good. Which one is fewer, 35 or 55? 35. You did a brilliant job in this lesson. Thank you for joining me in this lesson all about describing numbers and helping the sheep to get back to their pen. Please subscribe to the Sense Education YouTube channel to see more of these fun games. Have a great day. Bye, everybody.